Something a lot of us are guilty of doing is having our master output channel peaking. And this can easily happen, especially if you're working with samples, because you can import them in straight out of the media bay and they can already be too hot or too loud. A great plugin to help manage this is the brick wall limiter. Basically, it sets a brick wall as the ceiling and it stops any noise from going over the level we set. So we use the threshold fader and we can drop this down to choose the level that we don't want our volume going over. And the brick wall limiter instantly looks at that and stops any sound from going over that threshold. Activate the link button to have the plugin analyze both the left and the right channel individually. The release parameter basically controls how long the limiter is going to be active for. And it's got a great auto release. So if you're not really sure what you're doing, you can let the plugin decide when it should actually release the limiter. You can use the detect into sample clipping option to prevent distortion when you're converting a digital signal into an analog signal. The thing about a brick wall limiter is it's about finding the right setting that's going to work for your track. If you push it too hard, you'll hear artifacts or you'll hear a discernible difference. So it's about finding the right level that works for you. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check this video out. Please subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel and like this video if you've learned something. I'll see you soon.